I realized yesterday that I've never talked about my favorite authors and I think it's because I don't tend to like making favorite videos whether it be favorite books movies songs music anything with the word favorite in it I don't really like to make because for me the word favorite has so much weight attached to it that I don't feel comfortable throwing it around everywhere. Still I started thinking about this question yesterday and it was really hard for me to come up with my favorite authors because I had to really really think about it and whenever I have to really really think about something I would just rather avoid whatever that question is. I also feel like using the word favorite on something is like putting it on cement and I can never change it and I hate commitment. So you can see why I never make things favorites. It's also the reason why I have a whole series called Recent Obsessions because it's essentially your monthly favorites but I don't think that whatever I enjoyed in that video is going to be something that I enjoy for the rest of my life and so I'm just talking about the things that I've been into recently it's not like don't hate me if you know one month I'm like oh I really like this book and then the next month I'm like actually I don't it's not it wasn't that great and yes I realize that I think way too much into things anyway we're talking about favorite authors so let's just stick to that topic so what makes an author a favorite for me is it the number of books I have by them on my shelf because if that's the case then Aral Stein definitely fits the title because I have a whole collection of Goosebumps and Fear Street books is it the number of books I've read by them then I could say Cassandra Clare is one of my favorite authors because I've read almost every book in the shadow Hunter series. I've also read almost all of John Green's books. Is he one of my favorite authors? And the more I thought about this, the more I realized that for me it's a mixture of writing style and connection. And what I mean by connection is it's the feeling like you know exactly what the author is trying to say. It's not about the character arc, it's not about the plot, it's not about the world, it's about theme, but it's also about more than that. It's this sense that you get when you're reading and you feel like you're reading into the author's mind. You know exactly what they're talking about, you know exactly how they make those connections. It's this feeling of being in the same wavelength as someone. I know that seems like so much weight to put on something, but why not? We read for education, for escapism, and for entertainment. We read, well, actually I'm just going to speak for myself, I read to understand something and to not feel like I'm the only one experiencing something. And so I'm always looking for authors whose books can both make me understand something and I don't just mean facts I mean understand my own feelings because I'm someone who likes to ask questions about my own feelings and why I'm feeling the way that I am feeling 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 and also make me feel like they are experiencing the world at a similar level to me I don't have to love everything that they've written I just have to feel like I understand what they're trying to say at the root of their stories the other thing I mentioned was writing style which is pretty self-explanatory but it's also kind of hard to find don't get me wrong I read a lot of books from a lot of very talented authors with really beautiful writing styles but again I have to connect to the writing style in a way. As a, as a writer I pay so much attention to writing style and there are a lot of authors with really really beautiful writing styles out there but not all of them have stuck with me. There's only a select few authors whose writing styles have definitely stuck in my head. For example Neil Gaiman which can be a weird choice for me to say because I don't read a lot of fantasy but he is one of the only authors that I would pick up a book from no matter what because I love his way of storytelling and I don't quite know how to explain it and I know that a lot of Neil Gaiman fans will feel the same way as me there's this certain voice that he has that uh, definitely seeps through all of the books that he's written and even though I haven't loved every single one of his books I can understand the stories he's trying to tell the morals and the themes that he's put underneath the surface of the story the opposite side to that is Courtney Summers whose writing style is very blunt and harsh because her characters are very raw and honest I feel like she's really good at showing the harsher darker side of people and the themes that she puts across in her books always seem to surprise me but at the same time make me fully 
fully understand what it is she's talking about. So I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to say on this topic. I'm sorry I didn't give you like a whole list of favorite authors that I have because I, I still don't know. There are plenty of authors that I really enjoy works from, that I keep buying books from. And I mean, Neil Gaiman and Courtney Summers are one of my favorites, I guess, if I would really want to put it that way. But let me know what criterias authors need to have for them to be a favorite of yours. And I hope you're having a great day and you will see me in another video soon. <laughs>